Hello and welcome to this new session of the advanced Kubernetes. My name is Alok Kumar and today we are going to discuss on the priority class. So what is the need of the priority class? In Kubernetes, the priority class is a way to define the priority of a pod. Okay, This helps the scheduler to decide which pod should be scheduled first and which one should be evicted in case of resource pressures like CPU or memory. These types of priorities or you can say the defining of priorities helps in controlling the importance of pod over others ensuring that the critical workload are prioritized. So you can see that we have priority class as kind and we defined a name as high priority and we provided the priority number okay so a number indicates that how important the pod is if they are not enough resources for the high priority pod kubernetes can terminate the low priority pods and make a room inside the node okay so the priority class is for the highest priority workload this is for the highest priority and here we define the number it could be 100 or it could be 10 or it could be 10,000. It depends upon the requirement in your organizations So how many resources you have and how you are defining the high priorities and how you are utilizing. So in my case, I take in an example of 1000 only. So I will, I'm considering this as a high priority any of the priority class that we define with the value as 999 will go below that okay so and this is the way to use it so you can see this is the deployment this is the deployment name i am creating two replica here and the match label is this is the label we are using so that uh, the similar ports will club into the deployment if you didn't refer and didn't have any information about the deployment, you can refer to my deployment videos so that you can have a better understanding on this. So I am using the Nginx image. This is the container name and this is the resource that I am utilizing for creating the pod. And this is the priority class. So in the demo, we will see all the things line by line. Okay, and we will do all the things like creating the priority class after you know, going to utilize in the demo. Okay, so if 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 I say the value here, so it defines the priority value. Higher the number have the higher priorities, and you can see here the good global uh, default. Currently, it is false, and it should be false. Why I am telling you? Because if you make it true, this will be the default priority class for all the pods, not the single one for that for which you are defining. So we will look into this uh, as well in the demo part. Okay, so if you didn't define any of the pod as a priority class and you put it here true, it means that all the pods lie under the highest priority class which have this flag as true okay so these things you need to mention and also this is very necessary to understand for other resources the, the descriptions part that why you define this um, priority and what is the use of this priority this all information so you will be providing for the kubernetes scheduler so what is the scheduler the scheduler of the Kubernetes is the core component of the control plane and is responsible for assigning the pod to available node in the cluster. So there are multiple key factors on which the cube scheduler works to deploy the pod. Okay, it may be the resource request and limits, node affinity, anti affinity, okay, pod affinity and pod anti affinity, taint and tolerations also, and the pod priority which we are we are going to discuss in this video okay so if the cluster is under heavy load the pod with a higher priority class will be scheduled first 
the lower priority pod uh, may be evicted to make a room for the higher priority and it goes into the pending state so it allow the higher priority pods to deploy first okay if there is already a pod running without defining any priority class and there is no room for the next pod and that pod have the flag of priority class as higher priority then that pod pod will be evicted or you can say goes into the pending state and allow the higher priority pods to deploy first so these are the you can see the key factors on which the cube scheduler do um, work on to deploy a pod in a particular node okay so we are jumping to the demo session to see all these things in more detail so currently i am using eks and uh, this is the eks client we have two node in the kubernetes cluster so this is the aws environment okay so i am connected with the client so let's uh, monitor the environment first qctl get deployment we don't have any deployment qctl get priority class pc the sort code so you can see here the we have the by default uh, pc is available currently the priority class so we will define uh, our own okay so we have some file here just to save the time so you can see let me cat the web one so you can see this is the simple deployment file okay where we have we are using the two replica the pod and the, the name of the deployment is web one and where we uh, image uh, we are using the nginx with the latest and the resources we are provided all the informations okay so let me deploy it this is the normal we are not uh, utilizing the priority class because we didn't create it yet okay so this is the normal pod qctl ply minus f and web 1 qctl get deployment so you can see the both the pod is currently up and running fine this is the normal pod now cat the priority class so you can see the name uh, is uh, high priority this is the priority class we are creating and the value which we defined is 1000 and the global default is false so you, we need to utilize we need for the every creations of the deployment we have to use it then we can make that deployment pod as the high priority pod okay if we make it true then the by default it will apply to all the pods okay and here is the descriptions so let me apply it so it's created qctl get pc so you can find the high priority pod is created okay so currently we have two pod is running okay so both the normal pod is currently running now we have one more file of name web2 high okay so let me catch it So what I did, this is also a simple deployment file of name web2high, but here we are defining the priority class name as high priority. Okay. So in my cluster, there is two nodes and with this configuration, these types of resources, you can't able to create one more pod. Okay. So normal pod will now uh, give some room and they will get evicted or goes into the pending state to allow the high priority part to be deployed first okay so qctl apply minus f web 2 okay qctl get deployment So here you can see that, that the web one 
all the pods is currently evicted 2 minute 30 36 second before we created and that was running in the running mode but when we deploy the pod with the higher priority class okay so both the pods will get evicted and give the rooms to the higher priority configurations deployment qctl get pod so you can see the pod web 2 high is now currently running and this goes into the pending state okay so now i am going to demonstrate you uh, this as well like in the priority plus class we are making it as a true okay so let me uh, delete the deployment ctl get deployment okay qctl delete pod web one web two high okay so what i am doing i am doing create currently deleting the pod web one and web two high i have to delete the deployment not the pod so it will uh, de delete both the deployment qctl get pc qctl delete pc high priority so this uh, priority class is also deleted now i am going to change vi dot priority class goes into the insert mode and here instead of true false make it true okay and then save the file okay so now what i am going to do i am going to now deploy the priority class first cube ctl apply minus f priority class yaml okay now cat web1 so you can see this is the normal deployment file here we didn't define the priority class but that flag we put as true so it will automatically apply to this deployment and this will become the priority let me show you qctl apply minus f web1 okay it's deployed qctl get deployment so it's running currently both the pod qctl get pod so you can see that both the pod normal pod but we put the flag as true so it globally applied so it applied to this deployment as well so this is this become the priority ports okay so now cat web2 so this have the priority class and we defined it explicitly but now this time this pod will get deployed but it goes into the pending state the previous pod will not give the room to this one because that one the previous which is currently running is also a high priority pod okay qctl apply minus f web2 so this is also a deployed qctl get deployment so here you can see the web 1 is currently running because this is the high priority pod and web 2 we, where we explicitly define it as a high priority is not get the room to get deployed because web 1 is also a priority pod and here web 2 is we are defining it as a explicitly okay so kubectl get pod you can see the pod also so both the pod web2 is now in the pending state 
because there is no room inside the node to uh, for a single port with the having the same uh, configuration uh, for the resources so there is no room that's why it goes into the pending state because all the four port is of the high priority so hope you understand the concept of uh, the priority class okay so if you have any confusion just uh, comment me in the comment sections of this video i will try to answer it hope you like this video uh, if you didn't subscribe my channel please do subscribe it it always motivate me and share it with your friends as well have a nice day thank you